Langflow is a great way to build AI applications. We're gonna look at how you can host this so you can expose it over an API and use it in any user interface. Fly.io. Fly.io is another um, easy deployment platform. It's really great. And so we're gonna to go to fly.io, go to our dashboard, and where we have no apps yet. So we launch an app, find a GitHub repository. Again, we just take our fork. So select repository. This is my fork here. Um, you need to customize this a little bit because you need a bit more power than Fly gives you. So again, internal port 7860, and you need a bit more power. So what does that mean? Well, machine sizes, let's get a performance 2x machine or performance 1x, but I want something fast. And for Langflow, you need a minimum of two gigabytes of memory, but we'll do four gigabytes here, why not? And so this is gonna go off and deploy. Fly.io is launched. Your Fly.io launch was a success. Let's visit our app right here. And boom, we have Langflow. How cool. Um, not only do we have Langflow, it's hosted with host-langflow.fly.dev right now. I can create my first flow. Let's do a basic prompting flow. Um, so I'm gonna click on that and here it exists. Again, I just drop my API key and I go to the playground and I can chat. And if I, I can publish an MCP server too, or I can publish API access. And look at this. The URL is now HTTPS host-langflow.fly.dev. It's, it's ready, it's ready to be consumed by any front end on fly.io. This is how you can make Langflow accessible over the internet. If you're wondering about what you can build with Langflow, well, this YouTube channel has a lot of suggestions about that. We also have a blog and social media. Follow us on X and Discord, there's links under the like button for ideas about what you can build and now what you can expose over the internet as MCP servers, AI agents, or more. We can't wait to see what you build and we look forward to being part of the conversation. See you next time.